young daughter, Anne, gazing at the workers, carefully laying the foundations of the King Charles Bridge. The rhythmic sound of the chisels striking stone fills the air, blending with the soft murmur of the Vlatter River flowing beneath the unfinished arches. Daddy, why did you tell them to add eggs to the mortar? Eggs make the mortar stronger. It helps the bridge ensure through the years. That's so clever. It's science. With knowledge, we can achieve remarkable things. That's why I founded a university, to ensure our people become wiser and our nation grows stronger. I want to learn too. Then take this key to the library, my dear. Inside, you'll find all the knowledge you seek. Princess Anne has blossomed into a grateful and intelligent young woman, admired for both her beauty and her sharp mind. Our Anne is getting married. Hooray! 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 Sadly, our King Charles IV is no longer with us. This would have brought him great joy. is getting married. The wedding is set for January 1382 at Westminster Abbey. Who is the bride? Annie of Bohemia, daughter of Emperor Charles IV and King of Bohemia, though sadly Charles passed away five years ago. I heard she's penniless. Her brother, King Wenceslav, can't even afford her dowry. No dowry? What a scandal! Stop gossiping, will you? In December 1381, Anna of Bohemia set out for England. Her journey across the Channel was calm, but as soon as she reached Dover, disaster struck. A violent storm battered the coast and waves smashed ships together Anna's vessel was destroyed. Despite the dangerous crossing, Anne and Richard were getting married in a grand ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Anne of Bohemia became the first queen of King Richard II. Look at her, so stylish. Her dresses are incredible. The headbands, the embroidery, and those planers. How does she walk in those without tripping? A kind queen is coming. She always provides aid to the poor and sick, giving aims and food regularly to those in need. It's truly moving how deeply she cares for the welfare of women and children. She cannot bear to witness their suffering. Anne, I'm constantly amazed by how much you know. How many languages do you speak? Education was important to my father. His greatest pride was finding Charles University. As a woman, I couldn't attend it, but we had a wonderful library at home. My people adore you. You are so kind. Anne of Bohemia tragically passed away on June 7th, 1394, possibly due to a plague epidemic. Anne is remembered as a beloved and gentle queen. Good Queen Anne.